There is no such thing as a, a perfect intonation. There's just the illusion of moving it around and finding a spot where these two notes interact the smoothest. I want you to understand in different tuning systems, sometimes you leave it out of tune on purpose, slightly, depending on whether you're playing a third or a sixth. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it yet. So right now it's all about just hearing the flutter of the beats and having the ability to move the finger because you're not squeezing too hard to slide it and learning how to pivot the elbow which is an excellent exercise if I go to the G string to stay for a while I need to have see the line here and then if I go to D go to A go to E I never drop beyond just straight down when I'm on E I'm straight down when I'm on G I'm up here I never swing out to the left straight down or under to the right with the elbow. That's a, a really good exercise. Now if you're only going from one string to the other, you may just pull your, for a short amount of time or hopping back and forth, you may just pull your finger over and not be pivoting wildly with the elbow. Alright, now you can turn anything into a double stop study if you can play it on two strings. Okay, so for example, if I'm playing a D string and A string and I play the first finger Right now, maybe we're still do doing up bows. Put the first finger down. Remember, it needs to be leaning slightly away from the A string so that you don't lay on it, or you'll just get that sound. So pull your elbow to the right. And you could put your two down and listen to what kind of interval that creates. If you want it there, or there, or right between the two. third finger, I could tune it with the string below it. Because I'm playing on the D string third finger, that's a G. If I play it with the string below, it creates an octave. We're listening for that smoothness. So before you can get into true double stops where you're fingering each note, you need to know how to hear the differences of the interval and where you want it to be. So you're listening for beats, okay? Practice balancing your bow on two strings. You can play softly for now, just up bow in your pivot so that you're not bumping the other string. Ah, good luck.